The Christmas Sitters is a pretty good film. It's a little slow in parts, but generally, I really liked this. This was released in 2022. It's directed by Dylan Vox, written by Sam Jackson and Anna Rasmussen, and it stars Tristan Mays as Nora, Nathan Owens as Max, and we also have Tyler Stephen as Charlie and Kelly Tarnberg as Olivia. Nora is actually babysitting uh, Olivia and Charlie for her friend. Her friend is trying to get back home for Christmas, but there are some problems that's causing a delay, so she agrees to help out and babysit the children. And their uncle Max is also looking after them. I kind of felt like we didn't necessarily need both of them looking after them, but the story wouldn't have worked without that setup. So fair enough. I can understand why the decision was made. And of course, sparks start to fly between Nora and Max. And I feel like the way the relationship developed was very convincing, very believable. Sometimes with Christmas rom-coms, it can be love at first sight and it's ridiculous. But with this one, it felt a lot more organic and a lot more believable. And I really appreciate that. What's quite interesting is that, at least in my opinion, Charlie and Olivia are not necessarily likeable characters. They're interesting and the performances are really good, but occasionally the characters are, well, actually, they're realistic. Whereas usually the children in Christmas rom-coms are sickly sweet, overly well-behaved, and I love that. So it was just, it threw me a little bit when sometimes they were maybe not on their best behaviour. But if you're the kind of person who doesn't like unrealistic characters, then actually I think that will work very well for some people. I didn't mind it, but just my personal preference is that I do kind of prefer it when the children in rom-coms or Christmas rom-coms are, are very sickly sweet. I think there's a comfort in knowing that that's the kind of character that we're usually going to get. But it still works very well. With regards to the festive aspect... It's definitely very festive. We have Christmas carols and decorations and snowy activities, hot drinks, absolutely festive. If you're playing Christmas bingo, there will be a lot of things that you'll be able to mark off. And I think it's a really good way to get into the Christmas spirit. It works really well. It takes place uh, in, in the few days running up to Christmas and it's certainly very festive. The only real issue, and it's it's not really an issue as such, but I just think the pacing was a little slow. I feel like we spent a lot of time with certain scenes. For example, we spent a lot of time skiing and doing winter sports. And I feel like that part lasted way longer than it needed to be. There were some other scenes here and there that I felt maybe just ran on a little bit too long. So maybe we needed something else in the narrative to keep things moving. But it's not so much of an issue that it hindered my enjoyment. I still liked it. I still recommend it. But just as a, a point of room for improvement, I think the pacing could have been a little better. But other than that, I liked it. It's a decent enough narrative. The characters are generally likable. As I said, the children's personalities are not what I personally look for in a Christmas film. But I can see that being really appealing to, to some people. It's festive. And I did enjoy it. It's definitely worth checking out. If you're looking for a Christmas rom-com that you haven't seen, that's a, a pretty pleasant watch. That's definitely very festive. The Christmas Sitters is not a bad choice to go with. I probably wouldn't watch it again. It's never going to be a favourite film or an annual Christmas tradition. But watching it just now, I didn't mind it. The Christmas Sitters is not too bad and definitely worth watching. <laughs> 